Are we heading for new all-time highs on the SPY and the Qs? Hey there, Tommy from FibonacciArders.com, your daily market recap. Like, subscribe, let's see the charts. Are we heading for new all-time highs? SPY closed the day with 1% to the upside, broke above the yellow zone. Now let's see, as long as we are above the 513, above the higher border of the yellow zone, we are set to go 518 and then towards new all-time highs with the 525. This is how it looks on the 65 minutes. We opened another gap to the upside. Friday, we opened up with a gap to the upside and just moved sideways. Monday, today, May 6th, we open with a gap to the upside and then slowly, slowly grinding up until the last hour of the day. We got ourselves another 0.2% to the upside next we will see we can take fibonacci the fti to the upside and the next resistance will be the 521 and then new all-time highs going towards the 527 always zoom in zoom out and you will get a better point of your price action don't go anywhere we are going to talk about the qqq dow jones iwm bitcoin soxx apple palantir shopify mara we have a lot to talk about, so don't go anywhere, don't fast forward. Let's continue with the QQQ, 1.1% to the upside. Now the higher border of the yellow zone, the 435 area. Once again, is the support, look left. This area is a very, very important area of support. Now the resistance is the 440. Above it, we will see 450 new all-time highs. This is how it looks under 65 minutes opened monday with a gap to the upside and same as the spy last hour of the day we got ourselves the end of the day squeeze if you want 0.3 percent to the upside 440.34 look here was a very important area of support resistance now once again resistance breaking above and we will see 454 to the upside Dow Jones closed the day green with 0.43 to the upside, but with a doji still inside the yellow zone. I want to see continuation above the 390, and then we can say that the Dow Jones is heading towards new all-time highs at the 400. IWM 1.3% to the upside. If we clean the chart, look at this. We have a broadening formation. Since we hit the lower border of this broadening formation, Let's make this broadening formation another color so it will be easier on the eyes. This is the broader broadening formation, the yellow one. Now we are inside the blue broadening formation. Can we get continuation above the higher border of the blue broadening formation? And then we will see going towards the 220. We can also take Fibonacci, swing low, swing high. And now we can clearly see that the IWM is breaking above the 618 Fibonacci retracement. Next will be the 207, above 207, 211. Let's see, looks like bulls of the SPY, Qs, Dow Jones, IWM, they are all back. Except the bulls on Bitcoin. Look at the Bitcoin still moving sideways. In the past four days inside the yellow zone but since the peak of april we are going downwards we have we are having lower highs lower highs lower lows we are still under the impression of this multi-top scenario triple top we are still inside a downtrend channel mixed signals by the fti which means bulls are still not here same goes for the ethereum ethereum since the peak of march went all the way down already 26 percent we are inside this downtrend channel this is why i use only trend lines why because we need to follow trend and the only thing that gives me the true trend is tr they are trend lines and of course, we use also the FTI, the Fibonacci Traders Indicator, the indicator that I have developed with all my knowledge that from my 
seven years plus of experience using Fibonacci levels, trend lines, multi time frames, and of course, we have the buy signal, sell signal. We are three out of four time frames. We are bearish, which means no long on Ethereum. Now, the 29.54 needs to hold the support below it, 28, and then 24.90 to the downside. XLE trying to get back, but look at this the higher border of the yellow zone rejected price now the this is the resistance the 9350 it was support over here end of march middle of april and overall we are having a downtrend channel since the peak of Mo peak of april from middle of april the xle is inside a slight downtrend channel sox 2% to the upside broke above this downtrend green downtrend last friday now still inside the yellow zone i want to see continuation above the 224 and then we will see 230 and back to the 240 to the upside overall we are three out of four time frames on the green side bullish soxx looking good magnificent seven with a new all-time highs we talked about this scenario about this double bottom scenario previous in the past two three weeks and here we are you're more than welcome to check in the past two weeks my stock market recaps and you will see we have talked about this double bottom scenario now continuation and we will see 4160 and 43 to the upside we can also take trend lines and this is the trend that we need to follow we can also take channels if it's more convenient for us and here we have the, this channel and we are heading towards the upper border of the red channel like subscribe don't go anywhere we still have many many things to talk about apple close fr last friday closed this gap at the 186 and then just got rejected now 0.9 percent today to the downside the only red from all the magnificent seven and the only red from all the big names that we are following the only red name what does it mean apple is in a relative weakness to the rest of the market now the 179 is the support below the 179 and earnings gap the 173 gap will get filled nothing bullish on apple we have mixed signals from the fti so if you are not long yet on, yet on apple in my opinion and of course it's only my opinion there is nothing bullish on apple for now palantir closed the day with an eight percent to the upside after hours gave everything back went down eight percent post earnings this is the reason why i always say do not enter and it's only my opinion this is what i do you do what you do i do what i do i never enter a position with open position into earnings why because no one knows and palantir numbers looking pretty good the market the only thing that we need to care about is what the market thinks and how the market will react to those numbers and the market just took down palantir eight percent after hours never go into trading with open positions now this gap will get filled and then you have another gap over here at the 2271 shopify earnings coming up wednesday after before opening bell shopify we had this falling wedge now last friday we broke above it today very very bullish candle all the way to the yellow zone the yellow zone is the most important area of support and resistance long continuation and we will see 80 30 and 83 70 but once again be careful because we have only tuesday we have trading and then wednesday before the opening shopify earnings coming up always know 
your earnings. Amazon slowly, slowly continues to the 120 area. New all-time highs on Amazon in the coming days, maybe tomorrow, Tuesday. Amazon looking very bullish. All time frames now, the 184 area is the support above 189, and we will see next leg towards the 204. We can take trend lines, and the next resistance will be the 195 and 204, heading towards the upper red trend line. Mara with 16% to the upside, still below the yellow zone, and Mara. Tuesday, tomorrow, after hours, we are having Mara's earnings. We have this trend line. Will Mara meet the upper trend line at the 30 area post earnings? Or is Mara heading to the downside, back to the 14? Let's see. Once again, it doesn't matter what we think about the company, it doesn't matter what we think about the earnings, and it doesn't matter at all what we think. The market doesn't care what we think. The market reacts the way it reacts, and we never know how the market will react, especially to earnings, to reports. So be careful. Microsoft with 1.7% to the upside inside the yellow zone. The yellow zone was a very tough area of support and resistance over here. Look at this, like a magnet for price action. Since end of January until middle of March, one and a half months, just inside move from Microsoft inside this yellow zone between the 404 and the 413. Now, once again, same price action since middle of April. Now let's see continuation above the 414. And then we will see 421, 430 to the upside. Overall, Microsoft, three out of four timeframes on the bullish side. And once again, if you ask yourself, what are all these levels? What are all these lines? What is this small table over here? This is the FTI, the Fibonacci Traders Indicator. This is the indicator that I have developed with all my knowledge. Just one click away, Fibonacci, support resistance, sell signals, buy signals, red and green lines to manage our risk. And of course, this small table, small, small, but super helpful. helpful. It helps us to get a better point of view on multi time frames and this FTI helps us make better decisions. Netflix, three out of four time frames are super bullish. Look at Netflix. Now inside the yellow zone, going towards this gap at the 604. Next resistance will be the 618. But once a gap is getting filled, be prepared for some pullback, whether it will be tomorrow or the, ne the day after, once this gap will get filled, even throughout the day, some kind of a pullback, rejection is incoming. AMD with 3.4, almost 3.5% to the upside, earnings gap almost getting filled, as you can see. Now let's see continuation above the earnings gap, above the 161, and then we will meet the 174 overall, three out of four time frames bullish on AMD. But I would wait because we are still below this red line, a very steep downtrend, downtrend line that began beginning of March. I want to see at least another day or two closing above the 161. And then we can start taking long position on AMD slowly, slowly towards 174. NVIDIA. 3.8% almost to the upside. NVIDIA, three out of four time frames are bullish. Close the day with the high of the day. Now let's see continuation on NVIDIA. Looks like SOXX bulls, the semiconductors bulls, not the SOXX. We have also SMH, XL, XLK and all this. But overall, looks like the semis bulls are here and they are strong. Tesla 1.97, 2% to the upside, but 
one, two, three, four consecutive days with a doji holding above the upper border of the yellow zone, the 179 area breaking below and this gap will get filled. For now, we got ourselves mixed signals from the FTI, no long and no short in my opinion for now on Tesla. Let's see, we can take long above the 190 going into the this blue trend line below the 179, the 50% retracement, which is also this open gap below it, 164. Google hanging above the yellow trend line. We said this trend line from resistance needs to hold the support. Now holding a support, very nice. Let's see continuation above the Monday's highs above the 168. And then we will see this gap over here getting filled and then towards the 174 breaking below this area, very important area of support. The yellow trend line together with the 165 Fibonacci support breaking below and we will see 158 and this gap at 156 getting filled meta 3% to the upside back inside the yellow zone. Super, super strong, looks like super strong going into this gap over here. And even if you don't use gaps, the FTI gives you and helps you identify where are the next gap. The upper border of the yellow zone is also this gap, earnings gap from Meta. Micro strategy with 3.74% to the upside, but closed the day with a doji, got rejected by the middle of this yellow zone, which is the 50% retracement. We have a gap over here. We have a gap also, another gap to the downside. And what do we know about gaps? More than 85% of them will get filled. Overall, micro strategy still in a downtrend. Yes, it broke above it, but with a doji, it's an indecision. Bulls are need still a little bit more power, more strength to close another day or two above the 1330. SMCI 6.10% to the upside, but mixed signal from the FTI, we are below the yellow zone, we are still below a sell signal on the daily, and we are still inside this downtrend channel. So is it the time to go long on SMCI? In my opinion, and once again, this is not a financial advice, in my opinion only, with the help of my friend, the FTI, this is not the time, we need to break above this downtrend red channel above the 881 883 and then we can start taking long on smci check the links in the description below choose one path to your financial freedom with the fibonacci traders so i hope you found this video helpful if you did like subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell we are going live 8 29 a.m eastern time preparing together for another trading day. Until then, stay safe.